Hi everyone, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. We're going to be doing a good old fashioned try on today. I got a truckload of Lancome products from the Lancome PR team. I was super, super grateful. They were very, very generous. Some of that package has gone in a giveaway. Others I'm going to try out today. I was looking at all the products thinking I really need to try these out. I'm really excited to try that and then try that. And then I thought what better to do than try it all out on camera. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. I don't think I have a full face of products. I don't think they sent me a concealer, but we're going to do the best with what I've got. Let's get on with it. If you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. And I would really appreciate it if you haven't done so already, come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. If you fancy giving this video a like as well, it all helps. So first of all, I just want to mention this is not a sponsored video. Not that it would matter if it was, but it's not sponsored. I've not been paid to do this video. I've not been paid to mention any of these products at all. So now that's out of the way, let's get on with it. Does anybody else get a headache every time they wear a headband? This one is from Claire's Accessories, so it's probably for my daughter's head, not really an adult size head. And it's pressing. I've even, I've even lifted it up to back here. It's not directly behind my ears, but I feel like my head is in a vice right now. This may end up being taken off. <laughs> I will persevere for as long as I possibly can because I'm hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore, here we go. So I don't have a Lancome eyeshadow primer, so I'm just gonna use my Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer, which is absolutely excellent. I only tried this out a couple of weeks ago and it's since become one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. So they have sent me an eyeshadow palette, which is really, really nice. The packaging of this is really pretty, very easy to fit in hand luggage, overnight bag, very easy to take away with you on holiday. The color selection in here is really beautiful. That center shade, I have to use that today. It's like a goldy, greeny color. I really like that. But this is going to be quite a natural look today. So this palette is called Bronze Absolute. It's number 17. And in the lid here, you have a little diagram of where you should place each shade if you're unsure where to start. So I'm going to completely overlook where they're telling me to put these. I want quite a natural look today. I feel like I've been doing looks that are quite smoky eye looks that are quite deep recently. I just want to pare it back and do something quite natural, but with dimension. So these little pellets come with foam applicators. I know a lot of people make fun of these and say, well, I'd never use that in a million years. I mean, ugh. there's nothing wrong with these. These worked for decades. They still work now. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try and use it. Let's let's see. So I'm going to get this first shade here, which is a really pale shade and more of a pearlescent shade. I just feel like using the foam applicator is a way of really packing on the color. It's a bit like using your finger, but without any of the mess. So while I'm applying this on the other lid, I will show you the shade swatches from this palette. I think the only thing that I would add to this palette is a really fair gold shade for us fair skinned girls, but also it will be great for an inner corner highlight or to highlight underneath the brow bone. I think this palette is missing that. I mean, it's definitely workable without that, but that's the only thing I feel that this palette is missing. So then I'm going to go into this shade here and just use that right on the outer portion of my eyelid. I'm not going to go too far into the crease or too far around the crease to the inner corner of the eye because I want to keep this quite simple today. Just want to add a little bit of definition on that outer corner. Just like that. Really pretty, very, very simple. Just adds depth. Like it. So finally, I'm going to use this middle shade here, which is just divine. 
I sort of want to put this all over the lid, but I said I wanted to keep this as simple as possible and this is quite a deep shade. Now this is not supposed to be the shade that you use as a liner. This is the shade that you're supposed to use as a liner, but I just don't think there's anything wrong with using your imagination and doing what you want to do. So nice, really like that and I have just proved that these are not only really easy to use but they come in really handy. I mean if you were on holiday and you didn't want to take all your eyeshadow brushes you could quite easily do this entire look with these applicators and your fingertips. So let's move on to foundation. These are the Tenny Doll Ultra Wear Stick Foundations. Lancome were good enough to send me a couple of shades of these to see which one suited my skin tone best. One of them is more warm toned, one of them is more cool toned. I think I'm going to go for the cool tone one today. So they've sent me 01 in beige, but they've also sent me 010 in beige porcelain, which is known as 110 ivory in the US. And I think that's the one I'm going to go for. I'll show you the swatches on the screen now. So this has a built-in kabuki brush. I actually thought this was a sponge when I first saw it. It's incredibly densely packed. I don't think I'm gonna use this today. I feel like it would take me ages to put this on with this, but again, Great if I'm traveling so that I don't have to take masses with me, but you can blend this out with your fingers. You can also blend it out with a brush. I'm gonna put a really small amount on first just to see what the coverage is like on this because I don't wanna to apply too much and then it be all cakey and bleh. That's a technical term by the way, bleh. I don't know if you were aware. So let's just see how this spreads out. Oh, this is nice. Okay, this, this is not expected. I thought this would be quite waxy and thick cream and actually it's not at all. It's very silk-like, glides on really nicely. Now my skin is in good nick at the moment, so, you know, it doesn't have very much that it needs to cope with, but... Yeah, that's blending out really nicely. Yeah, I, I like that. And it's super fast. Let's see how this will apply with my fingers. Because, you know, you know I don't like using my fingers, but let's just see what happens. Oh. Effortless. Completely effortless with finger application and my fingers aren't covered in gunk, which is what I really don't like. I don't like it when foundation gets down my nails. Ooh. So yeah, that hasn't happened here. So quite easy to do this with your fingers or with a brush. The reason I'm checking is because as you know, my skin sometimes gets a little flaky around these areas and when that does happen, I avoid applying my foundations with a brush because it tends to aggravate the area. So uh, having a foundation that you can apply with a sponge or fingers is really beneficial for me when my skin is a little more problematic. So I would say the finish of this is like a demi matte. It's more matte than satin. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the stick foundation there for a second whilst I cover up my under eye circles. I can always go back and apply more coverage afterwards. Now they haven't sent me any color corrector or concealer, so I'm gonna use my normal ones. The NARS Creamy Color Corrector and also the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade L5 and L2. Okay, so I actually decided not to use my Pat McGrath Concealer. Instead, I use the Kosas Creamy Concealer, which is also one of my all-time favorites. 
favourites and I just thought it would complement this look a little bit better today and the shade of the foundation. The Kosas Concealer shade that I've used is in the shade 2.5C so as it's a cool tone I just thought it would match with the foundation a little better. So I don't have an eyebrow pencil but they have sent me their styler. Uh, this is the brow styler up to 14 hours wear and they've sent me the shade 02. Now I've had a look how to use this because I don't tend to use a lot of these products with a colour in and this looks very very warm. This shade, ooh, should I, shouldn't I, let's just go in and have a little look, oh my goodness, yeah no, okay. Let's do that again. Let me take that off <laughs> quickly. Obviously didn't do that right. So one second. Okay, that came off really quickly. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's try again. Scrape off all the excess this time and go in really, really lightly. Now the reason I don't like to use, see, yeah, I just don't like this. I don't like it. The reason I don't like using these products, and it isn't this product per se, it's just that my brows are really fair and I like them styled a specific way. And using a product like this, you get the colour and the tint of this all over the place. It, yeah, no. No, I'm not going to use that. It's a it's a nice product. It's definitely thickening my brows, but I prefer to use a clear brow styler for the reason that, you know, my brows are absolutely everywhere. And uh, yeah, so no shade on the product, but um, I won't be using that today. So I'd be really interested to see if Lancome do this brow styler in a clear, and if the clear is exactly the same fibre formula as the shaded range because this fiber formula definitely stuck to my brows, it definitely thickened my brows and it definitely stuck them in place. I had a hard job removing this and it had only been a few seconds between when I applied it to when I was taking it off and it definitely thickened the areas and stuck them in place. So I would be really interested to try the clear version if there is one if it's the same fibre formula, as long as it's not a, like a gel formula, because I tend to find that they are not as good. So, um, hmm. interesting, very interesting. Again, not a bad product, it's just not for me. So in the meantime, I went off camera and did my brows how I normally would. Let's look at the skin again, now everything is completed. I feel like there are a few areas where I've done my brows that just need a little bit of touching up. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the product there and just go around my brows, just to perfect all of that. And then I'm gonna move on to highlight. And the highlight that Lancome have sent me looks really interesting. It's again in a stick formula. And I have swatched this on my skin already. It's in the shade 01, which is Vibrant Lilac. Again, comes in a little tube. And uh, yeah, this is a pinky lilac shade. I'm just gonna pop it on the tops of my cheekbones and see how we get on. I didn't think I was gonna like this when I first saw it. I thought, is that a color corrector? <laughs> It's lilac, but do you know what? I really like that. I think it's very, very pretty. No sparkle. And this is one of those products that you could put underneath a tinted moisturizer as more of an illuminator rather than a full-on highlight if you wanted to. Let's go back to the eyeshadow palette. I am going to just use this shade here just at the edges just to uh, bring everything together and again I'm going to use one of these spongy things because why not and then once I've got the base colour done I'm just going to dip into that greeny gold and just add the tiniest amount on that outer corner really nice love that so I was also sent one of the grandiose liners Usually I don't go for a liquid liner 
it's just not my preference. I prefer like a felt tip eyeliner, but I'm going to give this one a go. But bear in mind that this is not usually my preference. So that was really easy to use and I have managed to get a really fine line of liner on the top lash line. So super impressed with that. That being said, I still do have the product all over my lashes, which is one of my bugbears, which is why I don't usually go for a liquid liner. If you love liquid liners, this is definitely one to give a try. This probably wouldn't be one that I would reach for on a daily basis though. So we're gonna move on to mascara, but before I do, I'm just going through my lashes with a little spoolie, just to make sure that they're not stuck together with the liner. And I'm not gonna be using my Miss Your Big, which is my Ride or Die from Lancome. I'm gonna use one of the new ones that they've sent me. They did send me a replacement of my Miss Your Big, so I will not be running out anytime soon. The one that I'm gonna to wear today is the Lash Idol, which I believe is their newest mascara release. And a lot of people say this is great. So excited to try. So firstly, I really like the packaging. That's really, really nice. And the wand is curved, which is different to the Miss Your Big and got really fine bristles on there as well. So I have just curled my lashes to give them a little bit of a lift and I'm concentrating on the base of the lash first to get that volume at the base before I swipe it through to the ends, which is how I usually like to do it. This is really giving the volume at the base, so I'm impressed so far. So that's just one coat. I am super impressed. I am not gonna form an opinion on a mascara until I've been using it for at least a week though because the formula will thicken and I tend to like it at its best on day three when the formula has thickened a little bit and this is my first time of trying. So at the moment, I am super impressed. Okay, so they didn't send me any blush in the package so I'm just adding a little bit of my Iconic London Sheer Blush in the shade Cheeky Coral. So just a couple of drops on either side. and just blend that through. Let's have a look at lips. Now they sent me quite a few lip products. I'm gonna show you the swatches of the products that they sent me now. So I've got two matte lipsticks, one in the shade Killing Me Softly, which is 274, and one in the shade Kinda Sexy, which is 888. And then I have two of the hydrating shaping lip colours, which are Caprice in 132 and also Rose Rhapsody in 354. So I've just lined my lips using my usual MAC in the shade Boldly Bare. I think I'm gonna go for more of the hydrating lipstick today. Let me just show you the packaging. This is so, so pretty. And it has a little push button in the top, which releases the tube. I'm loving that. It's the little things that impress me, it really is. So this is in the shade Rose Rhapsody, which is 354, and I have a feeling that my mum is gonna swipe this off me as soon as she comes round next time. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely colour. This feels so beautiful. It feels very creamy on the lip really hydrating and it tastes like Parma Violet. Now I don't know if you've got Parma Violet sweets in the US. In the UK they're a little bit like a chewable vitamin, they're that consistency, a really hard sweet that you can either suck or chew, it goes to a powdery texture in your mouth if you chew them and it tastes very floral. A little bit like Love Hearts but they have a more zingy flavour. I really like the taste of Parma Violets which is a good job <laughs> because that's exactly what this tastes like. Okay, so they've also sent me a Buildable Shine and Colour Longwear Lip Colour. This is in the shade Gold for it, which is in the shade 500. Now, I'm in two minds whether to put this over the top or not. It might ruin it. And I don't think this is a topper. I think this is a lipstick all by itself. But it's intriguing me. And you know that my favourite lip topper is by Tom Ford and it has a gold shimmer to it. So let's just have a look, see what this is like. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, so I don't hate it. Now it's settling down, I like it more. I don't think I would like this on its own. I think it would be too 1989 going to the park with my friends sort of look. But I like it on top of the lipstick. But again, I think I've applied too much of it. So that's the finished look for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I've loved filming this today. I found some gems. My favourite products that I've tried in this video have to be the foundation. The foundation just went on like an absolute dream and really helped to disguise my pores. This has surprised me how much I like this because usually I'm not really into a stick foundation, but this went on so beautifully and blended out effortlessly. I will be using that more often. I also really liked the highlighter in the shade Lilac. Also, another surprise, I never thought I would like that product in that shade and I really like the hydrating lipstick. I will let you know how I get on with all the other products in a future video. What are your Lancome favourite items that I haven't tried in this video? Do I need to try anything else? Have I missed something that is your ride or die? Do let me know in the comment section and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.